All right, up here at Polina Peak, we're gonna do the Newberry Crater Trail. Um, just barely found parking, that was a little bit of a hassle, but basically you just use the Davies parking. I'm gonna start out by riding up Polina Peak. That's gonna be the hardest part of the ride, riding up that road. That's the only part of this trail I've done before. And then from there, it should be pretty fun. All right, looks like we made it to the Crater Rim Trail. Definitely a hard workout, not super fun to do in the sun, but made it here and yeah, we'll see how the rest of the trail goes, but the views obviously are, are forever. <laughs> and if you do make it all the way to the top, uh, it's just, it's, it's a spectacular view. So um, yeah, we'll keep going. I'm gonna eat some snacks. <laughs> So none of this riding is going to look very fast because it's not going to be very fast. <laughs> this is my first time on this trail. I have no idea what to expect, so I'm going to be just taking it easy and then enjoying the views. All right. So yeah, first part of the trail is pretty rocky. Um, yeah, it still falls under a blue though. And it's smoothed out quite a bit since that first little section. So we'll see what it does from here. See, it's pretty soft on the sides. People have gone off or come close to coming off. So, I'm ripping down this if you knew where you were going. <laughs> yeah, so one thing I'm I'm noticing that I think is pretty key. This trail is very soft. Just this uh this dirt is really gravelly. It's a lot of fun. The acid guy is hooking up really well, but I can definitely see how other tires would wash out on this pretty easily. So something to keep in mind if you're debating between two tires. Having a good aggressive tire up front has been really, really nice. And there's a lot of log drops. So, so far what I've seen is a hard blue. There's a lot of stuff that's green and then, and then you'll get some big features mixed in. So, oh man, it's like, it's like the perfect mix of rowdiness. Really fun on a bike like this. But yeah, this trail is something else. I haven't ridden dirt anywhere, anything like this. Um, yeah, normally when it's this soft, it just kind of sucks, <laughs> but on this trail, in these conditions, it just kind of works out, I don't know. Yeah, it's like basalt gravel, like cinders basically, um, but a little bit different. It's a little different than the cinders I'm used to, but I think that's basically what it is. Here. Yeah, if you do it counterclockwise, like I like uh, was suggested on trail forks, um, yeah, you get a lot more downhill. It's mostly downhill in this direction. Yeah, a lot of it so far, at least. It's been a lot of good descents, but there's also been a lot of just 
kind of plodding along, riding on flat ground. <laughs> and it's been enjoyable the whole way, but there's definitely sections that I, I wouldn't be want to be on a bigger bike. How's it going? Good, how about you? Good. Great day to ride. Yep. There we go. That gentleman was also on a fuel 9.8. Same bike. It's a great, great bike to have on the trail. <laughs> It's a different color scheme was all. Okay. A lot of drops in here. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I was getting a little hairy. Gotta rest my legs. <laughs> 